One of my favorite fruits of all time also happens to be one of the easiest ones to grow, and that would be the ubiquitous strawberry. Kevin Espiritu here from Epic Gardening, where it's my goal to help you grow a greener thumb. Now, before this date, before right now, I've only grown strawberries in containers in very simple urban environments. But as you can see behind me, I've got this bed prepped. We're ready to plant some strawberries. In today's video, we're gonna do it from bare root, which is one of the most cost-effective ways to do it. So we're going through the planting and the initial setup phase in this part one video for strawberries. So without further ado, cultivate that like button, and I will personally bestow upon you the power to grow the most juicy and epic strawberries of all time, and let's get into the video. Before we even get into planting them in the ground, we wanna talk types. And there's sort of two categories of types for your strawberries. The first would be, are you gonna grow them from strawberry starts like these that you see right here? Or are you gonna grow them from this weird Frankenstein's monster looking bag of what we call a bare root strawberry. So why would I do bare roots? Well, simply put, it is much, much cheaper. This is about 25 to 28 bare root strawberries. Cost me the same as these two singular strawberry plants right here. Somewhere around $15 here, and these were maybe like five or six dollars. So I've got two plants here, I got 28 plants here. Obviously, it's a lot more cost effective to grow them this way. At the same time, it's faster to grow them this way because these were bare root strawberries that have now been rooted up. So that's your first decision point. I'm personally gonna say if you grow a lot of strawberries, then go with bare root. If you're gonna grow just a few in a container and you don't wanna deal with what we're about to do with these bare root strawberries, then just go with these ones right here. Your second decision point is going to be actually what type of strawberry do you grow? And you have three categories. Two of them are the most common. You've got your June bearing strawberries, which as the name implies, they have a very tight fruiting window in June with nice, big, juicy strawberries. And then you also have your ever bearing strawberries, which don't really live up to the name because they don't bear straight up throughout the year, but you'll get maybe two or three sets worth in good climates. And that's what I've decided to go with is an ever bearing strawberry because in my climate here in 10B, I'm gonna get a lot more mileage out of them even if they're not the juiciest and the plumpest strawberries. Now there are day neutral strawberries as well as alpine or sort of wild strawberries, these white and very small ones that you can also look into. But I think if you're just starting out growing strawberries, stick with deciding between your June bearing and your ever bearing and your potted up and your bare root. Before we get into how to prepare this bare root for planting, see they look kind of weird, don't they? It looks sort of like a weird alien. I wanna get into some of the anatomy. Of course, these are the bare roots down here, down below, and they join up right here, the base where the soil line would be. So you're gonna to wanna to match the soil line there. You don't want really any of this part, aside from the very tops of the roots, to be below the soil. You don't wanna bury the crown, so to speak. That's exactly what this part is. And then of course we have new leaves and new stems emanating out and they're actually starting to grow already. So the real key with the bare root strawberry is not burying it anywhere above this point. You don't want this in the soil. Keep it around here or below. Now that we know what not to do when we're dealing with a bare root strawberry, don't bury the crown, we are going to hydrate these for maybe 30 minutes to an hour in water. Remember, these have made a long journey. These roots, they're gonna do a lot better when we transplant them into the bed if we hydrate them. So I've got my two bare root varieties, which I realize I haven't even told you yet. I've got Albion and I have Seascape. Both supposed to be great producers here in zone 10B. And if you're wondering, hey, Kevin, which ones should I choose for my area? I highly recommend doing a Google search for your specific zone because there are a lot of different varieties of strawberries. And again, these are perennial plants. You're gonna get them year after year. So make sure you select the right variety. But I'm gonna see you guys in about 30 minutes to an hour to come check on these. But while we're doing that, let's go out in the front and we'll talk about the soil and the sun requirements. We're back out here in the front yard to talk sun, soil requirements for our strawberries. So this area I've selected here is kind of my container odd fruit zone. So the dragon fruit are behind me. There are some blueberries in containers behind me. And in this raised bed here, it's gonna be the straws. So I'm putting straws in. And why did I select this location? Number one, strawberries love sun. They want eight plus hours of sun per day. That's what this area is going to provide them. I was actually gonna put it behind there, but the sun comes in a little bit later because it's blocked by the house. So you really do have to watch your area. Make sure you're not making a permanent mistake by just placing this in the wrong spot. Now, soil. I filled this up with a relatively standard raised bed mix, but the secret ingredient that I'm adding is berry tone. I put actually an entire bag of berry tone from Espoma Organic 
who are the sponsors of this video in. The reason why is because it's not like blueberries where they need like a 4.5 to 5 pH, but strawberries do prefer a slightly acidic soil, a little more acidic than your average vegetable crop. So we're talking somewhere in that 5.8 to 6.4 range. Most soils a little higher than that, at least in my, my annual vegetable garden. And so the berry tone helps to lower it and also gives it a lot of the nutrients that it needs. So I just applied about a bag here and I filled it up a little bit shy of the top because I wanna have some room to apply some mulch. So really, as far as strawberries go, good soil, make sure you modify it slightly, get it a little more acidic, and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and check back in on our bare roots. So it's been about 40 minutes or so. We are soaked up, and now it's time to get to the planting, and this really is the critical point. So you wanna make sure that you isolate each bare root. Again, there's about 24 in each of these buckets here. And when you're digging your hole, you wanna go at least as deep as the height or the depth, so to speak, of the root. So that's gonna be about six inches there. And I'm gonna dig a hole roughly about the same length wide on each side. And so that would mean if I'm putting it in this area right here, it'll be a hole that I would say is about a diameter of about a foot or so, and then about six inches deep. So if I wanna put my bare root strawberry right here, we're gonna bring it in about six inches from the corner. We'll start from the corner. We'll dig down roughly the depth of the root, just like I've said. And what you wanna do is, you don't wanna like lay it like this and kinda of do that. You can just kinda of fan the roots out a little bit. You can create a little mound in the middle if you want, makes it a little bit easier. And again, the key is the placement of the crown. So I've fanned the roots out just slightly here. Put that guy in. And then you wanna bury it. Make sure you keep it at that soil height. That's really the key here. So it'll take, a little bit of adjustment sometimes, but I'm gonna show you a close-up version of planting one in. So here we have another one. We're gonna plant it roughly 18 inches apart. You can get it a little tighter than that. 18 is gonna give them the best ability on a per plant basis to really put out a ton of leaves and a ton of fruit. If you go a little tighter, it's just gonna be a little bit less production, but a lot easier to manage, I would say. So I'm squeezing just a little more than the average in here at around maybe 14 inch spacing. But again, what we're gonna do so we're gonna fan those leaves out, or those roots. We're gonna hold it. Now look very closely. We've got the tops of the roots connecting to this point right here, this crown point right here. So let's go ahead and very gently backfill around, making sure that those roots get some nice coverage and you'll see exactly the point that we leave our strawberry plant at. So make sure that they're, you know, they're nice and compact. Don't pound it down, but good compaction there so take a look if i pull it up just slightly i'm seeing the very tops of the roots right here and actually even a little bit of the tops of the roots is okay you'd rather have that than have it a little bit below so we'll snug it in and that's exactly how you want to plant it well they're planted out and i have to say they don't look amazing right now it's a bare root strawberry guys it's going to take some time to really come in but one thing that i did do is after i planted in i applied some mulch about two inches of mulch I used a shredded straw called garden straw, but you can use more or less whatever mulch source you have available. Fallen leaves, grass clippings, micro bark, all of that kind of stuff will be perfectly fine. You wanna just make sure that you control that soil temperature. Remember, we just transplanted in, there's gonna be some transplant shock, as well as the soil moisture and just mulch in general. We know it's a good thing to add to the top of soil. So if you want to see how the strawberries are gonna go over the course of the season, make sure to subscribe for part two. But for now, we've learned how to plant them in. We've learn some differences between the potted up and the bare roots. And until next time, good luck in the garden and keep on growing.